Monday, October 16th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So it's an early market update. It's quarter to 9 a.m. London. Uh, commodities are uh, doing very well, especially copper and crude oil. And uh, most commodities bottomed uh, in the end of 2015, beginning of 2016. Uh, so did gold and silver. Um, and really, we need to see all commodities being be going higher to see precious metals do well as well. So this is a good sign uh, fundamentally uh, for uh, precious metals. So copper this morning, high grade copper on COMEX and it trades, um, you know, pre-market of course, the futures. High grade copper is up 2% at $3.20. And uh, I'm looking uh, at the chart here and I won't do a uh, I'm not going to put it on the screen. Maybe later I'll do another uh, video about it. But uh, copper is really looking bullish. The moving averages uh, look really good. Um, you know, a few, I think about, when was it? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, end of August, copper made a, yeah, end of, sorry, beginning of September, copper made a high around $3.16. And then we saw a correction, just like gold did. And copper went back down below three dollars, and it actually retested, almost retested a previous high from earlier in the year. And now it's just gone way back up through three dollars, made a new high from the uh, September high, and uh, doesn't look that, like there's much, you know, resistance on the upside. And uh, you know, I've got a high here uh, around four sixty four from two thousand and eight, uh, and. That looks like the you know where we're gonna go, and in 2016 it bottomed just below two dollars. So copper looking very good. Copper and silver, uh, usually silver um, is mined from copper mines. Uh, so interesting uh, situation here, and it, usually copper as well is a sign. You know, copper uh, rising copper prices is a sign of uh, it could be you know growing economic demand or economic growth you know you need copper to for housing for a lot of things uh, but it you know with oil going up as well could it be a sign that all the inflation we've seen and by inflation I, I, I mean money printing and credit creation of the last 10 years is actually starting to seep through onto real uh, goods goods that you can touch and use um, crude oil, yeah, we're at 52.16, up 50 cents, up a percent. So very interesting uh, move in commodities. So let's go now to the usual markets we cover here. Uh, spot gold, it's 13.05 right now, up a dollar 50. The low overnight has been just around 13.01, the high 13.06. So. Uh, not doing as well as copper and uh, oil, but we've had a, a pretty good, you know, let's say 10 days since non-farm payroll uh, when gold went below, uh, you know, down to around 13, uh, 1260. So we're now, you know, up $45 from the low uh, in gold and silver. And I also recommend a video I did uh, this on Saturday about the technical picture for gold and silver. I'll put it up in the cards. Uh, silver 1740 it's basically unchanged the range has been uh, 1733 to 1745 uh, the Dow is continuing to go up it's up 20 points 22,898 S&P up one and a quarter 2554 how are the currencies doing so dollar is weaker against the yen here we've broken through 112 it's at 11170. Uh, down 13 pips. Uh, range has been 111.64 and the high 112.08. So dollar on the back foot against the yen. Euro a bit weaker. It's trading below 118, down a quarter of a percent. And the pound is a little stronger, up 15 pips at 133.00. So currencies are fairly steady. Uh, so and the main thing is that the dollar is down against the yen <clears throat> that's uh, helping precious metals a little bit but uh, I would say the the main thing this morning 
is how copper and crude oil are doing really well. And they're leading the way uh, in terms of the commodities. I haven't looked at the other commodities, but uh, copper and oil are pretty important, I would say. Uh, what else have we got uh, in terms of data? Uh, looking here through, you know, a zero hedge, we did have uh, this election in Austria and uh, a far right party um, won. And uh, they have the prospect of having a 31 year old chancellor, which is the equivalent of a prime minister. Um, and uh, he's very, uh, how can I say, anti immigrant. So uh, a guy called uh, Sebastian Kurz. So, you know, it just, we're just seeing, you know, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe it's not happening suddenly, but definitely people are starting to, uh, you know, what they did in 08, 07, 08 is having, you know, uh, its impact uh, economically. A lot of people blame, blaming the wrong people, in my opinion, immigrants. <laughs> this guy, uh, you know... <laughs> It's not immigrants who created the massive amount of debt that we have as countries in the Western world. It's not immigrants who almost collapsed the system in 07, 08. But unfortunately, you know, people uh, look at these uh, things, you know, the, the masses don't really analyze things. And uh, that's why you get these kind of, uh, you know, leaders propping up. It's just a symptom, in my opinion of dissatisfaction with the establishment and uh, you don't see anyone coming out you know we we need to abolish the fed it's the fed that's destroying uh, our you know our money just you know uh, the fed and the system has created inequality and has created uh, poverty and unemployment uh, no we don't see anyone saying that uh, it, it's easier to uh, get to people by saying oh it's that guy's fault because he's different he, he's come to your country and because a lot of times immigrants are the hardest workers uh so i don't agree with that um and they're looking at the wrong uh, wrong uh, problems in my opinion look at the central banks they're the big problem not immigrants uh anyway uh what else is going on let's have a look at uh cryptocurrency see how they're doing uh, Bitcoin 5,500 uh, down 1.7 percent uh, the last 24 hours. The high's been 57.20 in the last 24 hours. I think we did need to get near 6,000. Ethereum 336.80, so Ethereum doing fairly well, but it has been higher around 351. Litecoin 62 uh, dollars. So yeah, cryptocurrencies continue to do well. And um, just to let you know, I, I did an interview yesterday, uh, last night, uh, London time, with uh, the Maestro Way and uh, Dr. Ted Noel. You can go into, uh, you can go to the Maestro Way uh, channel on YouTube, and you find the interview there uh, with, with with them. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you can also follow me on steamit.com on Twitter I'm also on Facebook as Monaco 64 and I'll uh, talk to you later bye